I'm Matias Correa and I'm a designer, but I also build adventure motorcycles. Yeah, I was born in Barcelona uh, and I moved here 18 years ago and I've lived in Brooklyn since then, since 2002. It's almost talking about food or a musician or something you know that you love. I don't know quite really why I'm in love with BMWs. I think it's a mix of the design of the look, its simplicity, and over time as I got to work with them, I think the ease of maintenance is what draws me to them. The frame is reinforced in five places to make it stiffer and to improve the overall handling and feel. The motor is completely rebuilt and displaces 1001 cc's at 10 to 6 compression. To make the engine flow nicely, we have an open air filter, 40 millimeter carbs, a ported and gas flown heads. The engine pulls 72 horsepower at the rear wheel. Crankshaft, pistons, rods, flywheel were all rebalanced as a unit to make it smooth and fast wrapping. The front end is a set of WP 48mm forks with 250mm of travel, Tagasago XL rims, a Talon hub, 320mm disc and a four piston Brembo caliper. To keep the geometry intact, we elongated the swinging arm 100mm and fitted a custom Wilbur shock. For the African adventure, I chose the 43 liter tank from HPN. I always knew that I was giving up some handling capabilities uh, for the weight of the BMW. But at the same time, you know, being over landing, you carry a lot of stuff with you. So for camping, for cooking and all that stuff. So in the end, what came down to is I wanted a little bit more temp top end power. I wanted to try to even get a better uh, fuel efficiency in the higher gear. And I wanted better front suspension. You know, I grew up in, in, in Barcelona watching the Paris Dakar, you know, the, the 1980s Paris Dakar and the BMWs and also the Teneres and they were sort of, they stayed with me, you know, and um, the Gaston Rayer 1984 and 85 BMW was sort of always my dream, you know, I, I, I just loved the feel of it and I loved the look and I wanted to create a bike that had essence of the rally, but was also built for the road as well as off-road. So something a little bit in between, but also what I wanted is taking the HPN sort of knowledge, uh, the tank and the fairing sort of look, but give it my own spin, my own sort of vision of what the design should be. The bike was built purposefully for a trip to Africa. I want to do Barcelona all the way through Europe to Greece and then Greece to Egypt and then all the way south there, um, the east coast of Africa to South Africa. Before this, I built uh, another bike, but it was a street bike, a BMW as well. But you know, there's always have to be a first. This I consider my prototype, you know, I make all the mistakes, I learn all the lessons. And um, that's why I wanted to take it to Africa, because I think finishing the build is actually testing it, but testing it to the max. I want actually to take it to Africa and see what breaks and see what sticks and sort of modify my ideas from there. And that would be sort of what I would like to build for other people.